Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. And today we are going to be doing a soulmate slash twin flame pick a card reading for you guys. And if you clicked on this video before the 22nd of April, you can purchase my 25 minute reading at half price. Normally it's 33 pounds, but until the 22nd of April, it's going to be 16 pounds. So let's just get started with your reading. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card. We're going to be doing who is your soulmate or twin flame. And if you would like to tune into your intuition now, take a deep breath and choose either group one, two, three or four and we will get started. So group one, who is your soulmate or twin flame? We've got Opalite, I love this crystal, this is one of my favourite crystals, that and Rose Quartz. I think this is absolutely beautiful, it's so so pretty. So let's see, who is group one soulmate? So we have Trust in Divine Detours, Reclaim Your Power, and you are never alone that's so so pretty i love this this is so nice i love the um the i love the earthy energy which is really really nice so i definitely feel like someone could be an earth sign here chemistry calling in your soulmate school spiritual teacher soulmate relationship soulmate relationship and we have Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups. Okay, so first of all, you guys have got an amazing group. Whoever you are, you guys are really in divine timing and very spiritual. You guys have like the most amazing spread. This is the first group I've done, but this is like an amazing spread because I'm getting such pure light energy from this. You guys are really tuning into your spirituality, into your actual soulmate. I feel like this is more of a soulmate because I'm getting more of like a whole... I mean, not to say that being a twin flame isn't whole, but it's more like a, a softer kind of energy. It's kind of difficult to explain, but it feels like a more softer energy. So, first of all, I'm going to start off, before I get too excited, I'm going to start off with this group here first, this row. I feel that like you guys need to look out for the numbers one, two, four, and six. Four could be your life path number as well, or it could be their life path number. Any of those could be a life path number. I feel like this person is very... There's a word for it, but with this panther spirit, do you know the way that panthers kind of walk really slowly and they know they're kind of, when they're after a prey, they kind of walk really slowly and approach their prey and then they pounce? So I definitely feel like this is a sort of energy that the person is embodying. It's that I know kind of what I'm going for. I know it will take some time, but it'll be worth it because then at the end of the day I'll get my soulmate and it will be someone who's really really amazing first of all you've got the you are never alone and this is the love card that i actually have in the whole deck this is like one of the love cards so you guys have got a really good spread the person may take a little bit of time or it might be somebody that you're not too sure about yet it could be somebody who you what you definitely i feel like won't expect to come in i feel like it's a time where you guys are really tuning into your authenticity where you are embodying a spiritual nature because we have the school and spiritual teacher so I definitely feel like this could be somebody who is a spiritual teacher could be someone who practices Reiki you could be somebody who practices Reiki it could be Reiki someone who teaches an actual teacher they could the person who you might meet might be at school college that sort of thing you could also meet this person while they're on a course or while you're, you're both on a course or they might be on a course when you meet them this is definitely somebody who is very spiritual very grounded i feel definitely getting major earth signs and we've got some water signs here maybe air but i'm not seeing i'm maybe do you know what it could be all the signs but the most prominent ones i feel like are earth water and air but i also want to say yeah those are that's right and then it could be aries as well but i definitely feel like those are like the main signs so we've also got a soulmate relationship which is absolutely beautiful i don't think i've actually ever got this card because this is a new deck so this is the first time i've actually seen this card out and it's absolutely gorgeous can you see the way the ripples the water is kind of 
going around and it's just it says new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now so this could be a twin flame but i'm definitely getting more of a soulmate because with a twin flame there could be these two two energies here so it could be there's an essence of twin flame here so this could be a twin flame relationship but i'm getting more of a soulmate we've also got calling in your soulmate and chemistry so you guys are basically telling me that you guys are on the right path you just keep reclaiming your power keep being independent keep and when I say independent, I mean someone who thinks for themselves almost, kind of doesn't, is um, looking after themselves, someone who is putting themselves first, because that's really, really important, they're telling me. And we've also got the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So Ace of Pentacles is a generous offering, I feel. I feel like it's somebody who you can meet at work as well. It could be somebody who has a lot of money. I'm seeing a very nice businessman. So like, and when I say a nice businessman, I mean someone who knows how to deal with their money, someone who is maybe an entrepreneur, someone who works for themselves. I feel like you could actually work for yourself as well. And... I feel like you guys could actually meet in a place where you're definitely going to be your most authentic and your most, you're going to be embracing who you are the most. So it's going to be a place where you're, I'm getting this like cracking open and, and then your soulmate is going to see like your insides, which sounds really weird, but like it's going to see your inside of your soul. So you're going to be in a place where you've kind of done the work and you have gotten to a place where you have been the most authentic and you've opened up and then your soulmate is going to see you in the place where you're in your most, in your element basically. Your soulmate is going to see you when you're in your element. And I definitely feel like you, this is, reclaim your power is right in the middle. So I definitely feel like you guys need to keep concentrating on that because these are like two soulmate cards right here. And then it's like, boom, here you are in the middle. And the fact that this is 44 is, I feel like you guys need to look up the number 44 as well and see what that actually means. I feel like 44, I think, is the number where you are on the right path or on a spiritual path. If it's not, but I think that's, that is basically what I'm seeing. And it's reclaiming your power as in, like, as I said, you're being your most confident, your most authentic, your most natural. I'm seeing this, this energy is absolutely beautiful. I just want to sit in this energy. <laughs> I actually want to sit in this group because this energy is so pure and natural. It just feels like I can see two natural spiritual beings just dancing together and it's just absolutely beautiful i'm seeing a man and a woman obviously this doesn't have to be for everybody but i'm seeing a man and a woman that are dancing together and it's just beautiful it's like a music video do you know thinking out loud by cheering that's kind of the vibe that i'm getting it's just that music video is just so beautiful and it flows really nicely i'm not actually thinking it might be that song also you could like a cheering it could be that song for you and that song is just so beautiful as well. So it's just that, I'm getting like really, I'm getting tingles. So it's just that beautiful, natural, pure energy. So let's just get a timing card and see if there's anything else I need to say. I feel like there's other things I need to say, but I think I've already basically said them. I definitely feel like spiritual teacher is a major, major thing. Because I feel like by the time you get to meet this person, you're going to be so in your element. It's unreal. You're going to be so, you're going to look so beautiful. Not that you don't look beautiful already. <laughs> But you're going to be looking so pure and, do you know what I mean? You've gotten to the point where you have overcome things in your life and you are very wise and you're, they see you as a spiritual teacher because you've got so much life experience and because you've gone through so many different stages in your life that have almost cracked you open on different levels and it's been so such big life lessons that once you meet this person, it's like, holy crap, I know exactly who you are it's like i know who you are i'm, I'm really excited to get to meet you it's, it might not be like a sudden like oh wow no this is my soulmate because that doesn't happen for everybody but it's this gorgeous like wow this is i'm like smiling this is like a gorgeous gorgeous energy it's so so nice it's just so beautiful it's like puzzle pieces are like fitting together is what i'm getting so i asked in months the timing we've got five months i'm not thinking five years and we also got the Empress. So I definitely feel like this could be a time when you're embodying who you are as well. It doesn't have to be five months. I think it could be a bit more than that or quite a bit more than that. But five months is just a range sort of thing. They're telling me not to wait for this person because you need to keep embodying this Empress because this is when you're the most grounded. You're the most whole and authentic and thinking about yourself other than, rather than the soulmate. But I definitely feel like you guys are, are deeply thinking about this soulmate and you guys are on the right path. I can see your path and their path and you're just you're just like going straight ahead. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that you got the King of Cups is absolutely beautiful. The fact you could probably be connected with a Pisces or a Cancerian or Scorpio for sure. 
So thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below if this resonated. And if you would like to, I'm doing a spring sale, if that's still on, I'm doing it till the 22nd of April. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello group two, thank you for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So we've got Rose Quartz. Love that crystal, it's so, so pretty, one of my faves. So you guys have Lay a Solid Foundation, number six. Rest, Reconciliation, Family, Healer. And we also got the Three of Swords. So I feel like you guys are on a mission, you're on a journey. You are at a point where you're just starting something new, maybe a new job, you're learning something new. So I definitely feel like you guys are on a mission. This is a time where you guys are really thinking about your future. And this could, I feel like is somebody who uses their hands for healing. It could be Reiki, it could be a nurse, it could be someone who even looks after children. Someone who's very generous as well, who really thinks about themselves. I'm definitely getting intense cancer vibes from this because Cancerians are the ones who are most in touch with their emotions because they're very fluid. So I definitely feel like that could be a thing here. And we also got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So this you could actually be with somebody who's from your past. I don't think they're actually in your past yet. You could actually already be with them and then they'll, and then they'll be in your past. And then I'll feel like you'll move on and then they'll come back. So that is one scenario. Obviously, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. So take it as it comes. And also, we have somebody who's going to be really into family as well. So that's why I'm getting Cancerian vibes. I'm definitely getting Leo and Taurus vibes as well here. And this is going to be somebody who is grounded. I feel like they're, earth, they're an earth sign or their moon is, is an earth sign. And this is somebody who could also be a soulmate because you could reconcile with them. I feel like this is definitely could be a twin flame situation. This is really beautiful. This is a time I feel like you guys are in the middle. If I could explain it, you're not at the start, but you're not at the end. So start is like starting to manifest this person and the end is actually being with them. And I feel like you guys are in the middle. So you guys are really focusing on yourself at the moment. You're so focusing on your studies, on your work, on starting a new job, starting a new passion. I feel like you guys have actually clicked. Something has clicked recently or is going to click where you guys are going to be starting on a new path. And it's important to take time to rest and to look after your body. I feel like you guys are go-getters and you guys constantly move all the time. Or you could be focusing on lots of different things at once and your brain it kind of gets overloaded and you forget to meditate, you forget to rest. And I'm also getting 818 on the clock so number eight and number one is going to be really significant for you I definitely feel like number three and six as well definitely the number six for sure so as i say as i say you're in the middle i definitely feel like this is prominent because we've got like a solid foundation so i definitely feel like you guys are moving somewhere you could actually be moving abroad somewhere you could be moving house you could be moving job and the fact that it says layer solid foundation is getting me in the in the vibe that Lay a solid foundation is making me think that you're in the middle of something. So you're still laying your own foundation. They could also be laying their foundation as well. I definitely feel like, yeah, I feel like I can see them moving as well. So they're going to be moving towards you. You could actually meet, I'm seeing like a tiny little village as well. So if any of you are in a village or you're thinking about moving to a village, they're probably going to be there and you're going to meet them maybe like in a little pub or something like that. That's kind of what I'm seeing. So let's get one more card for this. So we have Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Wow, this person's gonna be so good for you. It's gonna be someone who's gonna really open your emotions up because I feel like you've been hurt in the past. They could also be going for a breakup right now or you could be going for a breakup, you could be going for a breakup with of friends. It doesn't have to be an actual relationship, but this Three of Swords energy is kind of giving me the fact that it's in the past or it's going to be in the past when you meet them. So this energy is going to be in the past and it's kind of going to open you up for a deep dive. So it's like I'm laying the solid foundation, I'm dealing with my past hurt, now it's time for the deep love. And Swans, I've heard mate for life. So this is somebody who's definitely a soulmate or twin flame. So let's see what your timing is in months. Okay, we've got the Hangman. So this is going to be a time where you need to actually think about what you want. As I say, it's definitely in the middle. I'm getting middle energy. So this is this is definitely middle energy where you guys are thinking about what you want. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be 10 months. I don't think it's going to be 10 years. This person could also be 10 years younger than you or 10 months younger than you. But I'm definitely getting 10 months is really, really prominent here. Can we get one more, please? What's the overall energy for group number two? 
Page of Swords, gorgeous. So definitely, can you see this this advancement? So we've got the Three of Swords and then the Page of Swords. That intense, like, zoom, like proper power up here. So this is absolutely gorgeous. So you can see from like the rest, and it's also resting from past hurt and giving yourself time and healing and be kind to yourself because it's like the more kind to yourself you are about your past and maybe your mistakes, mistakes, because I don't feel anything is a mistake. So that's like sarcasm, but <laughs> if you feel like there's things that you regret or anything like that, it's like let them go because it's time to move on and time for a new adventure. This person's completely new as well. So I'm getting two energies, someone you could know or it could be someone who's new or it could actually be someone you knew, you knew but they've turned into someone much better and they've advanced themselves. And the Page of Swords always give me such an amazing open vibe. So it's like, because he's standing on like the top of a hill and he's just looking out, it's, it's just so new and beautiful and I love it. And the Page is always a, a newborn kind of gorgeous new life energy so you could also be having kids with this person this person could also have kids but I definitely feel like you could be having a child or two or three or four or five <laughs> with this person it says loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose so this could be somebody who's very very family orientated as well so I feel like we need to pull out one more card can I yeah this one I'm gonna pull out one more card for you guys group number two please soulmate okay well we've got two cards okay so we've got watch your thoughts and waves of prosperity. So as I say, it's definitely to do with this sort of back back past energy. It's like make sure you're not going back into the past. Make sure I know I said we've got someone from your past from your life, but I mean this is more about your energy and your thoughts. So watch your thoughts, make sure you are constantly watching for thoughts that come up and to not dive into them. I definitely feel like meditation is really good for you. You could be a person who's an overthinker as well. So I've really got quite deep Cancerian vibes because can uh, my moon is Cancerian and I we definitely have a tendency to overthink for sure. So it says new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So as I said, there is opportunities coming through for you and this could lead you to this person. Also, it doesn't have to be a massive opportunity. It could just be a quick switch and it's like, hell yeah, the universe has just mo quickly moved you onto a new path, but you didn't actually realise. So it could be like you move into a new section of your job, maybe like you're higher up. And as I say, it could, doesn't have to be a massive opportunity, but it just could quickly just be that tiny little change that moves you on the path to this person because I feel like you're already on the path but it's like the universe is kind of doing this like you know a compass where it moves the dial it's it's like it's kind of the universe is doing this for you and it's kind of making sure that you're on the right path and the fact that we've got waves of prosperity and watch your thoughts together it's like the more you manifest with positive thinking and affirmations it's going to help you to manifest this person easier and better. I feel like writing down as well is going to be really important for you to decide what you want and to write down everything you want in this person as well because that's going to and I think you're quite a visual person so I'm seeing you guys looking at, at something um, <clears throat> and deciding what you want out of this person. I feel like also when you write stuff down it's easier to manifest and it's easier to see because it's tangible because you could hold the piece of paper in your hand you can look at it. I also feel like this is really random. When I said about looking at stuff, I could see you guys watching a TV show together and you could bond over a TV show. And you have like a really, you can have a favourite TV show together and I could see you guys laughing on the, on, the, on the couch and kind of laughing about how amazing it is to be together and to to have this family and to be, be with each other and to spend time with each other and to experience this together. And the fact that you have this in common is just really nice as well. It's just, it just fits really nicely. As same as the group number one, it's like a puzzle piece, two pieces, two, sorry, two puzzle pieces fitting together. So thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video also. If you'd like to, please subscribe down below and please comment if this resonated with you. I would love to hear from your comments. I love what reading, I read all your comments. It's amazing. Thank you so much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hello group number three. Thank you for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got this gorgeous green crystal. I love this, it's so, so pretty. So let's see what you guys got for group number three. So we got time to heal, snake spirit, release your ex, strength, empowerment, and the king of pentacles. So this is really, really beautiful. This is a definite energy where you guys are grounding yourself, I'm getting. You guys could also be an earth sign. You guys are channeling this strength to actually get through life, I feel. 
I feel you guys are constantly doing this, which is kind of like, don't get in my space, or you have trouble opening up, I definitely feel like. But this person who is going to be coming towards you is going to be someone who's very, very, like, very mature, very adult, sustainable with money, and knows what they want. And it's someone who's going to help balance you out as well, because I feel like you guys have a a tendency to get out of balance quite easily. I feel like you guys can be quite sensitive to life and could be highly empathic as well. So this could be somebody, I feel like a lot, uh, right now, I feel like you guys are holding on to an ex or a previous partner that doesn't suit you. Definitely feel like an ex because you're, it says release your ex here. So I feel like some of you could be thinking, oh, this might be my ex, but I'm definitely saying it, I don't think it is. This is just, I'm reading from the cards and what I'm getting intuitively. And I feel like you guys are working on your empowerment and working on yourself because we've got empowerment and strength are right next to each other. It says, everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. You're more powerful than you realise. It's safe for you to be powerful. So you can see how both of these kind of connect to each other. And you guys are channeling your strength to be, this, be with this person. And this person is very strong. And I feel like they're strong physically as well. I'm seeing someone quite tall and quite muscly. And there's somebody who's going to empower you to be the best person that you are. You guys are really going to balance each other out. Like I said in the last two groups, I'm seeing two puzzle pieces and they're fitting really nicely together. And I'm seeing just a gorgeous connection of two people. I'm seeing actually, this is really random, but I'm seeing handcuffs. This isn't a kinky thing. It could be a kinky thing. But I'm seeing handcuffs put together and it's almost like we're tied spiritually at the knot so the universe is almost just the universe is guiding you to this person because you have known this person before so you could actually be a twin flame and a soulmate i'm definitely getting more of soulmate vibes so let's just see what else it's funny that we've got time to heal strength and empowerment because they're all cards that are really kind of you're still on this journey of helping you helping yourself heal i also feel like you guys could have recently broken up with an with an ex now so you guys are doing really, really well. This, could, this person could also be releasing their ex and they're also healing. You guys are mirroring each other and we've got five fives. So it's like both fives are like mirroring each other because we've got two numbers the same. So it's like you guys are mirroring each other. So everything I've said about you is basically the same for them as well. So let's see what other things we could, we've got. I definitely, with this card, it has a woman on a horse, but if you were looking for a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. I can see this person just riding in on a horse because we've also got the horse here and she's also on a horse here. So there's two horse, there's two horses. So I feel like this person's like a knight in shining, shining armor, which sounds really cheesy, but it's it's just something that I feel you want because it's it's just such a whole innocent energy. And it's just so lovely. I love it. It's so nice. Lay a solid foundation. Here we go. Right. So number six could also be very prominent for you as well, and it's somebody who is going to help you lay a solid foundation together. You guys are going to lay a solid foundation. I see you guys having quite a long life together. I'm seeing like the montage from Up where they they grow old together, which is really, really sweet. It's just really, really lovely. I love this energy. It's so nice. I'm just going to pull out another life purpose card for you guys to see what sort of job, what sort of person this person is. Group three, please. So we have flowers. You're on the right path. An artist. So I feel like this is somebody who's very gentle. They could actually look quite, I'm getting the word macho, they could look quite macho and manly, but they're very, very soft inside and it's just something that really suits you, I feel. They could also be someone who's extremely creative. This could also be you who's very creative. You guys are going to meet on a time where you guys are really being creative with each other. You could also be both be artists, you could be photographers, um, videographers, filming, um, painters, drawers, sketching, flower arranging, scrapbooking, that sort of thing. So something that's very kind of physical with your hands. It could also be, I'm getting this scene from Ghost. I'm getting quite a lot of like sexual kinky like scenes, but it's, you take it as you want. So we've got the scene from Ghost where they're doing that like molding the clay sort of thing. But I think it's, it's less of a sexual thing and more of a intimate kind of gorgeous, yummy, lovely love energy. And it's also the fact that you guys have something in, like a creative thing in common. So you can take it as a sexual thing if you want. You guys take it as you want. Um, whatever resonates for you. The fact that you're on the right path is right in the middle is definitely saying to me that you guys feel like are debating whether you're on the right path. And this is a massive clarification that you are. You're so close to this person as well. It's like I feel like you guys are, are moving. You're moving through life together on a 5D level. So you guys definitely have this as your 
twin flame but it could also be your soulmate you guys are actually moving together i see two people and they're moving together through life but they actually haven't met in the 3d yet so that's really really interesting i like that that's really nice i see like two trains kind of moving together and you're gonna you're gonna end up at the same station it's gonna be like oh wow this is amazing so timing wise you've got the knight of wands so as i say this person is already with you at the moment in the it could be in in the 3D if you already know them, but I definitely feel like they could be more in the 5D where they're on a, where they're spiritual spiritually in the realms right now and they haven't come through yet. But they are actually with you. You are actually with them right now in the 5D. If you know who it is, if you've got a kind of feeling, it might you might actually know this person already. That's kind of what I'm getting. Can we have one more card, please? Timing months. So we have the king of wands so definitely a lot of energy where you guys kind of know what you want it's going to be a time where you guys are both very strong you're both very empowered people and you guys have gone through a lot of crap i'm getting you've gone through a lot of crap and it's kind of bringing you on this path the universe is kind of giving you giving you things to to help you gain your strength so you can um open up and kind of go to the deep dark parts of your soul to come back up again and have that you have the strength to come back up and to get on the right path basically i feel like you guys have been through quite an intense time and now it's like you're on the right path now because you've gone through such an intense time you guys i feel like are very strong emotionally you guys are empowered queens and kings obviously it doesn't really matter about the sex but i'm saying queens and kings because male and female but with you guys have this queen energy which is really really amazing so as i say it's to make sure that you don't get too up in your head and to so we've got the five of cups to make sure you don't get too up in your head and to not get misled by things as to say uh, into negative thinking to think that oh god this person isn't going to come because they are they're here then in, they're in the 5d so they're, they're definitely here i can see someone actually standing behind me not physically i can see them in my in my third eye so it's i'm um, intuitively picking up on this person they're standing behind me and they're almost waiting to come in so they know when to come in the universe is guiding you as well and you also have the four of cups so it's somebody who's really going to suit you as well and they're going to be offering you a cup you might not even realize or you might not even want this cup because it might take a bit of time for you two to get used to each other but as i say it depends on the person it depends if this resonates with you then <clears throat> if this resonates with you then that's great if it doesn't then let it fly so thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to comment down below if this resonated with you i'd love to know i read all your comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel my name is a crystal girl and i will see you very soon bye hello group number four thank you for clicking on this video let's get started with your soulmate or twin flame reading so you got this gorgeous blue stone which is so nice i'm feeling you guys could actually your throat chakra could be your most prominent chakra is what i'm getting and my throat is kind of hurting as well so definitely I can see you guys having a conversation with this person as well. I'm not sure. Texting and stuff like that. So you could actually meet this person online or at a conference. <laughs> That's what I got. So we've got life is speeding up, which is gorgeous. Number two. And we've got a rebirth is assured. That's gorgeous. Can you see like how that connects? That's so nice. I love that. And we've also got take time out. This is so nice. Guys, the flow in this. Oh my God, the, the flow in this. 259. Like that is just so nice. I love this so much got soulmate i actually had a really good feeling about this group let go speaker this is what i'm saying at a conference yeah so there could be a, a in, like, <clears throat> there could be an inspirational speaker or like a youtuber who talks about something they're really passionate about a new dawn and then you also got the star you guys have such a good reading this reading and number one i think are like the most prominent basically like you guys are on the path already you guys i feel like are gonna i kind of got the momentum going and you guys definitely have the momentum going because you've got life is speeding up, a rebirth is a short and take time out. So it's like you're going to go, 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 go. And then it's going to open you up to this massive, gorgeous life. Opportunities are going to flow in because you've gone through so much. And I feel like I'm talking more fast as well. And then you guys crash a little bit. <laughs> take time to look after yourself. Make sure you're not overworking yourself. My throat is really getting stuck in my nose. So I feel like you guys can make, could be overworking yourself. You could be thinking too negatively about a situation to the point where it's like, oh, this person's never going to come in. This is a sign that they are. It's insane. This reading is so, so beautiful. 
So we have walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. That's exactly what I thought. I literally didn't even see this card. I was literally, I wasn't even looking at the card and that's exactly the energy I got. It's like, let go because life is flowing for you and the star card is so beautiful. The star card reminds me of like a really light fairy energy and it's like, you know where you're going, you know what you're doing. And we also have a new dawn, a blessed change. Can you see this? Can I just explain like, this reading is so this reading is in such a flow state. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't even explain how much I love this because we've got a new dawn and blessed change. Can you see how this is like so lining up? So we've got like a new dawn and blessed change. And because you've had such intense times recently, I feel like you guys have gone through an intense rebirth as well or through your life, you've gone through quite intense stages and you've got quite a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge. And you guys, I feel like our spiritual teachers as well, because you're teaching about how much you've gone through and you're helping people. So we've got a new dawn and blessed change. So it's like a newness is coming in. And then this is like the person right here. And then we've got letting go. And then as soon as you let go, the soulmate is going to come in. So it's absolutely beautiful. And I feel like you guys could be inspirational speakers as well. You could be entrepreneurs. You could be someone who works for themselves. I'm seeing you selling products. So they could be selling makeup. They could be selling herbal remedies. They could be selling things that are very good for your health. I'm seeing the shop Holland and Barrett and we have Holland and Barrett here in the UK and it's a health food shop. So I'm seeing that sort of kind of helping people with words, with experience, with saying objects as well. So things they're selling as well. They could have, they could be selling their own products as well, something they've made. I love the fact that we've got life is speeding up and rebirth is assured because you're moving so fast into a rebirth or you've, you've kind of gone through a rebirth and it's now life is speeding up because you had a rebirth. And this person is also going to help you to have a rebirth. This person is also going through this exact same thing. So you guys are mirroring each other. Definitely getting really, really, really intense twin flame vibes. And getting such pure, concentrated sexual energy as well. So you guys could be meeting somebody who's also a fire sign, water sign. I'm not really getting earth, but I feel like it could be quite earthy. But those are like the main ones I see. You guys could definitely also be connecting with an Aquarius as well. So basically, I don't feel like there's anything else I need to say unless I draw some more cards. Because basically it's all here for you and this person is just so nice can we get another card about this person's personality because i feel like this is more about the life path that you're actually on what about this person's personality what are they like someone who's very cuddly as well i'm seeing this this bear is like really showing out to me someone who you might like canada as well i i have about i have an intense connection to canada i've never been there but i feel like i have an intense spiritual connection with canada because of the animals and the gorgeous nature and i feel like this is the sort of person who's Okay, now I'm getting grounded energy. So someone who likes being outdoors, someone who is very cuddly as well. So we also have bring your ideas to life. So it's someone who's going to be very creative, someone who, definite entrepreneur, someone who knows how to work the business world. And it's someone who's kind of got weaving in and out of situations very, very smoothly, because that's the way the eel works, is like this. So it's like, meet a person, talk to them, advance. Meet another person, talk to them, advance. And it's like advancing constantly through their career and it's like they know the sort of people to talk to they have quite a few contacts i'm getting um the number 34 i feel like you could be 34 or i like, could be 34 when you meet them also 24 so switch those two around uh, i'm getting the age 27 as well so you could be 27 i feel like they could be 27 when you meet them as well but it doesn't apply to all of you so that's just a select few I'm also getting the number five as well and we have the number five here so the number two five and nine is going to be very present for you as well it's just they're going to come in so easily you guys are worrying too much <laughs> is what i'm getting watch your words that's exactly what i just said it's like you guys are worrying too much and you're overthinking this person is so beautiful they're just going to be this is going to be like you and them like and we open the wings to each other and just i'm seeing this gorgeous intense opening to each other and it's just so so beautiful i love it it's so pretty and it's going to be someone who is very expressive with their with their hair color maybe with their personality they have a very expressive personality and they know when to open and when to close kind of their own energy so they have a very good connection with their energy and how to handle it they may actually might not know this they might not be on a conscious level but you can definitely feel this because very controlled energy is what i'm getting and it's very very good when i say controlled energy it's very positive because they know how to handle themselves and we've also got spirit has a plan okay that is just that and that is that is just gorgeous because can you see how this is flowing again so we're getting this kind of cuddly energy. We've got 45 and 35. Make sure you don't go too far back into your past as well. This is definitely a soulmate also. So it could be soulmate or twin flame. And I'm getting intense sexual energy kind of brewing up here. So I feel like you guys are really gonna think, oh my God, I really just wanna like pounce on this person. 
<laughs> which is not very like it's not very nice for me to say but I, <laughs> that's kind of the energy that I got it's like I just want to I just want to like do stuff to this person I'm just gonna like move on from that energy because it's gonna be intense I don't want to get too much into your sexual deviant things <laughs> so we've got spirit has a plan so overall you guys are doing really well don't worry basically don't worry because watch your words because spirit has a plan you also have the queen of swords so that's gorgeous so you guys are gonna just meet this person when you're embodying this queen of swords i thought like you guys could already be embodying this queen of swords and this person could see you as a queen of swords someone who's very empowered someone who knows what they want and we also have the ten of wands so i ask when is this person going to meet in months and 10 months could be 10 days 10 weeks that sort of thing so yeah i really hope this helped and this queen of swords i feel like he's i feel like he's saying so about the queen of swords what is it you guys are really empowered and you've worked on yourself so much that you guys are embodying this Queen of Swords. And when this person meets you, they're going to see this Queen of Swords in you. And they're going to be like, holy crap, this person is so beautiful and they've got their shit together. When actually they've got their shit together as well. So you guys are going to come together really nicely. There's no codependency here as well. You guys have worked on that, worked on past things, worked on... Um, codependency as well and there's no codependency so it's all very balanced and lovely thank you for watching if this resonated with you and has helped please comment down below my readings are half price at the moment until the 22nd of april so my 25 minute reading is instead of 33 pounds it is 16 pounds so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe comment down below i love reading all your comments you guys are amazing thank you so so much and i'll see you all very 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 soon bye